What is going on, guys? We're back with another video in Madden 18 Connected Franchise. We're doing a realistic rebuild of the Lions, or at least my edition of a realistic rebuild. Some of the things I do aren't super realistic, but most of them should be. Um, and we're not using real, um, the updated rosters for this one because the Lions really didn't do a whole lot that helped them anyways. But next video for sure... We will be doing a Rams fantasy uh, updated offseason uh, rebuild. So, this video can get a thousand likes. I will upload that the moment I see 1K likes. I know that's a lot to ask for, but we haven't had a like go in a while. So, I figure maybe you guys come out super strong for the first one we've had in literally months. Literally months. But if not, it'll come out on Thursday. So, that's like four, maybe five days technically away. So, those likes, you know, you can enjoy it. So, of course, uh, the big thing to note um, is Matthew Stafford. He's a 50-50 for me. I've seen him win a couple of MVPs lately in rebuilds, but I don't know if he's going to get it done. I don't. Another thing to note is the wide receiver core. Getting old, I'm not really sure how to make this realistic in the wide receiver terms. Luckily, they are good players, though. You know, it's not like maybe the Broncos where it's a little bit worse. They're older and they're like 85 uh, overall, that's the worst. Ebron, the Lions, of course, got rid of in real life. I, however, more than likely will be keeping him. And then the defense, uh, also getting old there as well. Uh, Darius Slay, obviously, set for the rest of this rebuild. 26, 27, 28, I wouldn't care. Obviously set. Glover Quinn, 89 overall, but he is 31. We'll see there. Killebrew, seen him develop, and ironically, might get him on our Legacy League at some point. Uh... Don't know if he's going to start. Nah, he will start. He'll start over uh, Tavon for sure. And then the big one, Jared Davis. Obviously, hoping to Jesus, the boy, my man, can get defense a rookie of the year. That will be huge. Uh, Zettel, 25 years of age, decent enough. Ansa, however, more than likely going to be hitting free agency soon. 85 overall, 28 years old. Really can't get upgraded too much more. And you can see here, on a contract year, so we'll see there. And then defensive tackles, <laughs> Haloti Nada. I say Haloti Nada to that. <laughs> but they do have some young defenders behind him at the DT spot. Keem Spence and, of course, Ashawn Robinson. Uh, both might replace Haloti. Haloti might get released here. We'll see, though. Question is, can the Trade Center provide? Can it provide for us here? And there are a couple of decent guys, you know, the likes of Spencer, where you can debate maybe would be allowed. Who is our running back? Is it Abdullah? It's got to be him still, right? So Theo Riddick, who is 26, never going to develop. Abdullah, 24, could develop. However, I would really much rather have Spencer Ware. So if we can get him in a trade, I might do that. So we're kind of used to the same old, same old in off in the offseason. In the trade block, Eric Reed, technically a free agent in real life, could be a move for us. But I think Spencer Ware, a guy we never go for, could at least be the guy here for the first year, maybe second year. I don't know how much it's going to cost to get him, though. So we'll have to kind of have to balance that out and see if it's really worth it. So here we trade Nevin Lawson in a sixth round this year for Spencer Ware. Uh, Nevin Lawson does go or did go to free agency in real life. But the Chiefs, they are actually very desperate for a corner, especially since we now know that Marcus Peters is going to be gone. So really a little rough there at the cornerback spot. Revis, obviously, I mean, if this is real life, Nevin Lawson would be their best corner, which is ridiculous. And then obviously they have quite a bit of running backs that they have, especially with Kareem Hunt as the main starter. But here in uh, Detroit, Spencer Ware becomes a starting running back for us. Offensive line, this is a tough one as well because uh, some of our guys are decently young, like Taylor Dacker. That's like the future here for us. Uh, Travis Swanson, that's not younger than I thought. TJ Lang, I know he's on the older side, but he's 85 overall, probably one of our best. Rick Wagner, quite overpaid, I would think. But, I mean, there's really not much more you can do in a realistic rebuild other than maybe find a couple of free agents so we'll, we'll try that out, and then we'll um, go on, I suppose, to the regular season. Sam Shields, I think, is a Ram as well. 
We'll give Sam Shields a shot since the Rams want to. And speaking of agreeing with people, I think we're going to agree with the Lions' real life and more than likely tag Ansa. This is most likely what the team is going to look like. However, Kerry Hyder here has a bit of value in my opinion. We have Dwight Freeney still. Uh, he's on a contract here. I think we can pull some value from him, so I'm probably going to do that. And uh, also pull some value from... That's actually probably it. <laughs> probably just Kerry Hyder. We'll see what the AIs want to give us. So Hyder has some offers here. We had to wait a whole extra week, though. And do I allow a third round for him? I actually like the Browns pick here. A fourth round and a seventh round. I think that's very fair for a 26-year-old player trying to prove himself. I think that was a great trade for both parties. Am I on the right amount of players on our roster? 52. There we go. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go on to the regular season. Of course, scouting is going to be huge for us. Normally, I let the AI scout. But I think for the first or second season, maybe both anyways, might have to scout myself. Have some negotiations. Spencer Ware is one of them, of course. We'll worry about that later. And of course, we're off to a great start. So the draft stories, we have BJ Pondexter, sprinter for wide receiver. Okay. Or Poindexter, whatever you want to call him. Poindexter is a top three talent, and he looks pretty damn good to me. Big need on this team, running back. However, will we fill that? Probably not. It's actually really hard to draft running backs, in my personal opinion. Like, not... I mean, I guess, to be fair, it's not hard to draft Madden Sim running backs, but user ones that I personally like, almost never find them. So we have negotiations. Let's take a look. So, of course, Spencer Ware is one of them. Four-year, $21 million deal. That's a career backup at minimum, so I'll take it. I'll take it. We have lots of money to work with. Uh, Zeke Alonso, like I said, I'd prefer for us to tag him. Not that I'm saying four-year, 30-mil deal isn't you know, worth it, but... I'd rather pay him a one-year, 10-mil deal, honestly, just because I don't want to be locked in for life. Or would I, though? Because the bonus is about 10-mil. Either way, I think we're going to wait. To here, this is a tough one because he is uh, our second-best middle or not middle linebacker, second-best linebacker. I'd be leaning towards getting him back. Travis Swanson gets the signing. Jordan Hill, I do not think so. Greg Robinson, I like the cheapness, so I'll probably go with him. Uh, TJ Jones, maybe. A lot of the guys in the back here probably won't get the contracts just because they're on the older and lower overall side. But all in all, it shouldn't cost us too much to keep most of our players, which I like to see. So I think Stafford, of course, is going to be the guy for a while, but you always got to scout just in case. You never know when you're going to find the greatest quarterback ever in like the third round or something. Like Beckwith here. He is not the guy we're talking about. However, Noah Kittner, super solid, A-plus throw power. This guy is very good too, Bradham. This is a really good class for quarterbacks. Love to have seen that in the uh, Legacy League. But, you know, can't always get what we want, can we? What a weird name. Gabriel Brandstater. Someone, that's probably someone's job title. Literally goes to conventions where companies are sharing information with each other. And literally, that's his job. Which, like I said, oh, here we go. Here we go. Watts Waters. Watts Waters. Here we are into the playoffs. Are we going to make it? That wasn't spoiled. Yeah, we, we didn't make it. Uh, we did win a game at the end here. What does 4 and 12 get us? 4 and 12 gets us the number two spot. Please tell me that's true. Of course, I did not expect to do that badly here with the Lions. But that's what we did. And there was no forcage of any wins or losses. Thank God this happened. This makes it so much... What in the world? It makes it so much easier when stuff like this happens. Didn't change the scheme at all either. I just kept it, you know, normal. Let's take a look at the stat line. I really wonder why we did only win four games. I mean, we're not the greatest roster in the world, but we're still good. Uh... Matthew Stafford really didn't play too poorly. Spencer Ware had a lot of rushing. To Holy crap, I see why. Nine fumbles from Ware, seven from Stafford. How many we have three, four, 11, 20 fumbles on the ground. 
It's interesting. Uh, where in the hell is Galladay? Sweet. Didn't even start. I had him at number two over Marvin. Not that it would have mattered anyways. TJ Jones got the... Ooh, this rebuild is off to a poor start. In all fairness, we did have Galladay... Tavon Wilson had seven picks. We did have Galladay as the... Um, one of the practice guys, so he's still decent. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, this rebuild could not... Well, I mean, quote-unquote, couldn't have gone any worse. I like when we do badly, obviously, year one, because it helps me big time. But we didn't have Killebrew starting. Didn't have Galladay starting. Yeah, it could have been better. Offensive Rookie of the Year went to the... Okay, that's interesting. Were we even on the list? I don't think we were. We did get defensive rookie of the year, though, of course, which is the constant, and gladly it was a constant today. Tavon Wilson also did get best DB, which is an interesting one. It's very interesting. What kind of XP did he land? I know he's old as hell, but... 22K. Okay, I mean, so... Even though he's old, and he got quick depth, even though he's old as hell, he still has a shot at being decent trade bait. I mean... A starter, yay. You know, Jared Davis is going to be pretty good. He had a, a great season offensively. Kenny Galladay, I don't know why a 79 overall wouldn't start over TJ Jones, but hey, that's the way this game works. Oh, I guess to be fair, we got him to 79 midway through the season. Totally screwed up some of the stuff, but that's all right. That's all right because we still got good XP. Still did okay in the terms of spacing. You know, I think we're on par... Probably for a year four Super Bowl, so we'll give it a shot. Uh, Morris Joseph. So Morris Joseph and McCollum. So McCollum was supposed to be the number one, and it probably still is, but Joseph beat him. So Joseph, in all fairness, this guy probably would be worth a first-round pick. Uh, where's McCollum? McCollum, I'm not having it. The winners were the Chiefs, so I'm going to say... That our um, cornerback was the reason. Because I never see the Chiefs ever win a Super Bowl. But here we have a 29-year-old Ezekiel Anza. Kind of asking for more than he was before. To here, Whitehead asking for a little bit more. Sam Shields didn't play poorly. Doesn't deserve a contract, though. Travis Swanson does not deserve a contract. Because he is not a great player. The franchise tag would be 11 mil. I mean, we kind of have the money, so I'm going to let it happen. And that, I mean, that's up to him. Four-year, $30 million deal. I think in real life it'd be worth it, but in Madden, it's not. I think we could actually probably get him back here for cheaper or someone better. Drew Brees. Deion Lewis is a free agent. We could use a running back, but I don't think he's worth the money there. Tier Whitehead. Ooh, maybe we won't get him. Maybe we won't get him for what we wanted. Ooh, Justin March Lillard. Wasn't great for me, but 25 years old with quick dev here. Might be able to land ourselves a little bit of a steal. I'm surprised they're not... I'm actually going to try to land him week one here. I'm going to try to give him a deal. That's got to be enough for him to just straight up sign, hopefully. We give him Lillard. So, I mean, that's just as good, if not better, than uh, Mingo. Uh, Lillard actually does have a little bit of potential. Point Dexter. Early for... I mean, this guy is so good, but obviously not for us. Can't have it. Oh, I thought that was a running back. I was like, okay, you're not good at all. The Browns would move. Ooh, I like this. I'm taking the Browns offer for sure. And then I can maybe move six. What are they going to take? Ooh, they did sneak right in front of the Jets for Bradham. If the Redskins missed their... So, okay, so I don't know if the Redskins would have... Ooh. Okay, so in all fairness, the Browns and Redskins, both teams wanting to trade up big time. Browns made the play, would have lost them the Jets. And, of course, we can see here the Redskins. We're going to go for Pondexter at number two. They miss him. We also have this early. Now, we're going to take Nicholas Wakefield here. 79 overall normal starting linebacker for us. Watts Waters, definitely the best. Quick dev, 79 overall, super speedy. More than likely number two corner unless I'm forgetting someone. So mid fourth, maybe a little bit of a reach, but we're going to take Robert Lucier. Uh, and great player. Holy crap, really good, great player. 
let's take a look at these wide receivers, actually. I'm kind of just writing us off. Yeah, Harvey's the last good wide receiver. I'm going to take him. Probably shouldn't have taken him. I mean, he's a great player for a user league, but for us, I don't know. Maybe we'll throw him on the, the kicker turner spot, and maybe he just gets really lucky. That's probably what we'll do. Lynn Watts. This is the guy we're bailing out for as our starting DN, so please. And there we go. It's definitely worth the pick. ET Speed 82 Excel. Could have been slower. Quick dev. Great talent. Maybe a little bit of a reach, but we're going to take him. This guy looks so good. Please. There we go. That's a starting lineman. So good. 21 years of age. Quick dev. 90 strength. I love it. Sheehy. Okay, EA. That's how we're playing this. That's how we're playing this. Mid-sixth. Taking him late fifth. Real. Okay. So I will say, in all fairness, that was a shocker. I did not think he was going to be that bad. But that was the first draft. I mean, we landed a lot of starters. And I mean a lot. So I can't be too mad with how that turned out. Wakefield, a starting linebacker. Maybe starting middle linebacker. Waters, starting number two corner anyways. Lucier, starting lineman. McClendon, we'll try him as our kick returner. Maybe he can get lucky. Watts starting D end. Blair backup safety. Heath backup player. Witzel starting lineman. Sheehy really should be in free agency. Wise backup corner. And then, I mean, pretty much after Wit uh, Witzel, that's where everything went completely wrong. Bennett, Streeter, good wide receiver. Crosby Coleman, once again, the, uh, the Raiders always land... A good uh, running back in the second round. The Redskins, I mean, I wouldn't say dodge a bullet because that other guy's going to be really good, but this is one of the better players I've ever seen. 21 years of age, 6'2", quick dev with 94 speed, 94 excel. Holy crap. I would actually probably debate he's going to be better than this other guy. And here's Pondexer. So, uh, yeah, he's a bit of a freak. Super czar dev. The big thing about him, though, is he's two years older Three inches shorter, same speed. I don't remember the wait. Was it the same speed? Kittner, here it is. Holy crap! Eighty-six overall. You don't see him super, super often. Ninety-eight injury. They really try to set him. His stamina is really bad, though, for a quarterback. Like I'd be willing to bet that almost any other quarterback in this draft had at least six better. But holy crap, is he a good player? Bradham was that good too. Wow, I mean, I knew, like, Bradham's stats look really good, but I did not expect there to be two 84-plus quarterbacks in the same draft. Holy Jesus. Who would I rather have? Honestly, don't know. And that was pretty much the, the draft year one, so let's let's go on, fix our lineup, maybe trade off Ansa. Really comes down to who we have as a backup, I think. Should have drafted a running back, but it is what it is. Did not draft a starting replacement caliber wide receiver, but that's okay. We did land a ton of new starting linemen, at least two. Uh, defensively, March Lillard gets a spot, and of course, so does Wakefield. Safety-wise, Killebrew is a full-on starter, hopefully for us. Waters, obviously, number two. Watts, the new right end. If we have any backups, which I don't really think we do, Ansa could be on the way out. We'll see, though. Got to take a look at Ansa's um, actual contract here. So we wouldn't lose that much money off of the tag. So we'll debate it. We'll throw him on the trade block, see if anything can be done. Maybe get a player out of it. I don't know. So here we trade Ezekiel Ansa, a third round and a fourth round for Tevin Coleman. I know that's another running back that we're trading for that needs a contract, but Spencer Ware fumbled way too much to be a starter for us this year. I will be trying to trade off Theo Riddick and or Abdullah for something. I don't know exactly what, but we'll see. You retrade Theo Riddick, Abdullah, and TJ Lang to the Browns for Betonio. We uh, lose about three years off on our uh, guard. We also do uh, gain a slightly bit better player, uh, even though Lang did play very well for us. Also didn't look at... F ooh, okay. I mean, not really an ooh, okay, but... It's nice to have a good fullback, I guess. Uh, don't really look at free agency like I was about to say before I got ood. Uh, do we have any youngsters in here? Ricky Seal Jones. This is going to be the starting lineup for the year, right? Yeah, it is. Obviously, uh, we have a little bit of XP. We'll end up using that before we go. Spencer Ware got a contract. He's playing backup now. Devin Coleman's going to get a contract more than likely, and 
He'll end up being back up next as well. Of course, a little bit of XP for Jared Wakefield. Going to be our middle linebacker for the year. DT's set. DN's set. Cornerback set. Everyone's set. I don't think this is honestly like... I don't think this is a Super Bowl team. Or not a Super Bowl team. Obviously not a Super Bowl team. I don't think we're a playoff team yet. But we do have a couple of draft picks coming up. The two first round picks. One being the Browns. Got a great quarterback. So we don't even know. But hey. Hopefully the playoffs, right? I'm just saying we lost to the Jets. Uh, Ebron, I'm going to give him a five year. And we have lots of money. Excited to stay. Tevin Coleman hasn't played a snap, but we know the talent we're getting here. We didn't trade for him for no reason. Definitely traded for him to stay. Golden Tate. Now, this is going to be one of those after the season's over type deals because he'll be regressed even more. But I love Golden Tate. Always have, always will. So he more than likely will get a contract. Quandre Diggs, I don't think he's really a cornerback for us anymore. But with that zone, I think he'll be worthy enough as a backup safety. We also have some draft story. Griffin Dial was a rugby player. So Griffin Dial. ET, huh? Position where we don't need, but we're we're thinking about it. Quarterback, not a guaranteed position of uh drafting. But Stafford, he's only getting worse, so I'll just I'll just keep that on the uh the old list. Moving on to the playoffs. Are we in it this year? Surely we've done at least a little bit better. We are not in it. And we are 6 and 10. Bears are 13 and 3. All right, let's take another look. Obviously, we did not force. Uh, okay, we won. Okay. Obviously, did not force lose. I mean, we had the draft picks on our own the way it is. I, hopefully, the Browns didn't do well because they did land an insane quarterback. Please tell me the Browns did badly. 4 and 12. So we have the number four pick, and where the hell are we? Damn, there's a lot of teams around here. We have, like, number four and, like, number, like, 12, maybe. Number 11. So two good picks again, but not nearly as good as Phil Rivers MVP, okay? Not nearly as good as number two in general. And yeah, Matthew Stafford, 28 touchdowns, 17 picks. Like I said, he can only get worse, and that's the case. Uh, so Coleman fumbles five times. However, he averaged about four yards per carry, 1,300 yards, seven touchdowns, uh, so he had a very good year. Uh, receiving, Kenny Galladay as a number two, almost 1,000 yards. That really blows that he was four away, seven touchdowns. Uh, got a lot more done per catch than Marvin Jones did. Of course, Golden Tate down in production, but still over 1,000. Sack total, Taylor Decker gave up 32 sacks. All right. The rookie Watts, 13 sacks. I don't know if that's good enough for a defensive rookie of the year. Uh, especially now with Wakefield getting five picks and 142 tackles in a season. Pretty impressive. Pick total in general, though, really not great. I mean, our rookie Waters did get one, but, I mean, really not great. We had two different uh, three kickers. Probably should have replaced Matt Prater in general, but he did have a much better season in all fairness. Kendall McClellan then did get a pound return touchdown. So we were up, like, 15 on offense. Defense, I don't remember. But we were definitely not 15 last year, so we're much better there. Uh, Kittner was number six in the awards. Jacoby Brissett, the quarterback for the Browns, or the Bears, does that well for them. Nice. That's pretty cool. Offensive rookie of the year. Did we have an offensive rookie? I don't think we did. Any you know, other than offensive lineman. Watts, number two. Wakefield probably would have had Watts better, but it is what it is. Things happen. Uh, Des Bryant... Do we have any other awards? Wakefield was best linebacker as well. Darius Slay, best DB. So we did win some, you know, decent awards here. So this is what the team looks like. No outstanding XP, of course. Ron McClendon, please. Of course not. Defensively, Wakefield 51K. So, I mean, he's probably going to be better than Jared. Jared Davis went down two overall. Uh, Watts, 15K. Slay, 20K. I mean, the team got some a little bit of XP, I suppose. But once again, no rush to uh, no rush to upgrade our players since we're not in the playoffs, anyways. Again, so Walker Middleton MVP, some sort of receiver, probably a wide receiver, could be in the market for that. Walker Middleton late first. Uh oh. Lay first with Superstar. Sounds like a plan to me. 
What I will say is I don't know if Stafford has the gun to, like in Sim at least, and like in real life I think he does, but in Madden I don't think he has the gun to carry this team to the playoffs. Not that, Like I said, not that I'm saying that this team is playoff bound right now. We did get two better wins than we did last year, but I don't know. Really, a 10-7 to Super Bowl win for the damn uh, Seahawks. That would be so, so depressing. Since it is a realistic rebuild, we will be re-signing this fullback. Golden Tate. Three years, $23 million. He is the starter, but he's 31. We've kind of groomed Kenny Galladay to be the starter for us. This is tough. I think we're going to... Mm, I like Golden Tate, though. So Marvin Jones is a better overall, technically. He's 29, so he's going to be regressing soon, too. I think with the fact that we're going to be letting Marvin Jones go around the exact same age as Golden Tate kind of forces our hand forcing Golden Tate into free agency here. Quandre Diggs, I like Quandre Diggs enough to potentially play safety. I'm lowballing him a little bit, though. Really? I didn't lowball him that much. So we did let some of our names go, but, I mean, a lot of them are on the older side. We do have a lot of money here as well, so if there's anyone decent, we could snag him. So we do have a running back. Don't need him, though. Mark Ingram. Drew Brees, another free agency trip for him. Obviously not going to sign him. Jordy Nelson, just like Golden Tate, is a free agent. Both players very similar in style. Probably would rather have Jordy, though. Duke Johnson, like we said, goes free agency. Really not getting much more than we offered Coleman, and I think Coleman's 10 times better than Larry Fitzgerald. You don't usually see him still in the league, especially not in free agency, still. So I think we're going to give him an offer of like one year, four mil. Was really open. we'd see a little bit better at talent here. But unfortunately, that is not the case. So we offered a contract on like six or seven players. Hopefully we can at least land half of them. Really, we landed none of them. Not even Zerline. Wide receiver Walker, Middleton, late first. Uh, combine, definitely good enough to be drafted. Frederick Bryan, not a bad player. It's a pretty good lineman. Uh, this draft is not overwhelmingly great, so it might be another one of those trade-down drafts. Mario Edwards actually does sign on the cheap as well, so we'll see what he can do at DT potentially. A little undersized, but not by much. Of course, we have number four overall. Biggest need on this team is wide receiver. Of course, Middleton is, uh, I think we'll be drafting him with our second first round, which is number 10. I think that's a perfect pick. He shouldn't go any higher than that. Late first, taking him now, definitely worth it. Walker Middleton, probably 89 speed. Superstar Dev, 88 speed, but still clearly worth the pick. Superstar Dev is the biggest factor. 94 Excel really saves that speed, but obviously since we're in a, uh, a rebuild... It's it's all right. And, of course, our middle linebacker should be here still. 23rd pick, Martinez Rose. Superstar Dev. Okay, I was a little shocked by that. Another position we really didn't technically need, but obviously we're going to take it if he's that good and he's there. And both of those things remain true. Frederick Bryan's there. I'm going to take him. 78 overall. He might replace Marvin. Like, this guy without the Dev is better than our guy, I think. The first guy that we grabbed. Two amazingly big, insane players. I don't know if it really fits in an NFL offense, but it's pretty insane, the height we have on this team. So the Browns get a big steal here. We trade number 64, 74, and 87 for 113, 132, and the next year's second. Huge steal for them, of course. Mitchell, I don't know who the hell that is. So we have an alignment here. Oh, no, we have a cornerback here, actually. Keith Franklin, 71 overall. I thought there was a chance he could have been good. He's still good, though. He's still a good corner backup, but he's still okay. 106, we might lose a lineman here, but that's all right. We have a lot of, a lot of talents in this draft for offensive line, just like last year. So mid-fifth, actually our next player is mid-fifth, never mind. JT Burks, right guard, quick dev, 77 overall, a tank of a player. When you see that 6.8 combine, it's almost impossible for them to suck. 
We'll reach. I mean, we're going to grab him later. But Todd Forsey, a uh, good pass rusher. Does he replace Zettel? Probably not. Don't think there was any positions early that we were debating on taking and just didn't. I think really it would be some of the mid, like, second round safeties. Middleton, super... I For some... I, I'm so stupid. I stopped there for a second because I thought that was the middle linebacker. And I thought he was 6'6". Six, six. Either way, great wide receiver, obviously. Martinez, Rose, great talent there, obviously, as well, starting somewhere for us. Brian probably starts. Franklin doesn't start. Burks does start. Goda, good backup. Spear does not start. Forsey, I wanted to start, but I don't think we have a spot. And then Asa Ford, I don't know. He means decent DT. We're literally only going to be a sick home superstar dev. Uh, he's actually really good. So it's one of those players that projections look bad, is technically bad, but he played. He is. He ended up way better than he probably should have. And you look at those stats. I mean, he really should not have been that good at all. He's a really good safety, but he was taken all the way at number eight. So it's not like he was a steal. Joe Barry, the best quarterback in the class. Really not much to say for. Probably the worst quarterback class ever. Joey Martinez, the classic. Big man. Play anywhere. Sidbury, that was the guy I was debating. Okay, I'm not too mad about that. I mean, he's a great player, but at this point, Killebrew has better potential anyways. Ben and Morris. There's a lot of good middle linebackers. I wonder if Rose was the best, though. Really didn't pay attention to him too much. JT Marshall, amazing tight end. Normal dev. A little bit faster than our guy, but I... Not nah, damn it. I think our guy is clearly the best. Lattimore, normal dev. Decent, but old. Griffin Dial, superstar dev. Great player. I was debating him. Honestly, going back, probably should have taken him. And, yeah, I don't think I've seen any of those safeties. So I don't really think we missed on anyone too insane. Uh, Linebacker-wise, Rose, I guess, starts over March Lillard. Uh, well, technically, Wakefield will go there. And then Rose will hopefully finish the trifecta of rookie of the year's but yeah, I mean, I think we'll do another season after this, unless, of course, we make it to the Super Bowl. But let me set the lineup and get her going. First things first, we're going to sign Patrick Robinson. We have quite a bit of cap space, and he's not a bad number three, maybe number four. And actually, we're going to get Lamont Bowers, who's insane, and going to put him at kicker. The only black kicker in the league, like actual kicker, not punter. Pretty impressive feat for us. I think he's going to have a great season as well. Gonna be giving the Jets the second, third, and fourth round pick in this year's draft for the seventh round next year, just to even it out a little bit. We have way too many picks, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be the starting team. However, for this season, don't think it's gonna be last season. Like I said, we have developed so unbelievably slowly. It's unbelievable. Look at this team. I mean, Tiffin, he's a good overall fullback. Cool uh, wide receivers. Damn good core. But they're probably not going to be good enough for this season to get us to the Super Bowl. Linebacker core, best in the league. But once again, I don't think it's going to be enough. But here's to hoping, I suppose. So we have some re-signings. Zettel, surprisingly, as a 87 overall player. I know he's not the greatest talent in the world. He wants only like three years, maybe like, what was it, 15 mil? Totally worth it. Taylor Decker, is he a franchise left tackle? Kinda. He'll get his deal as well. Glover Quinn, I'd be willing to go for that, I think, uh, by the end of the year. Ashawn Robinson, he really hasn't performed too well, but he's definitely worth it. We'll give him a five-year deal. He'll be here forever. Uh, Killebrew, definitely another guy that'll get a contract. Uh, we'll give him a four year as well. I probably should have given him a five, actually. It is what it is. Keem Spence, I don't know about. And everyone else is kind of 50-50. Simmons at the playoffs. Won four games first year. Six games the next year. Eight? Question mark? Eight? Okay, a little bit better than eight. I'll tell you what. Wrapped up Noah Kittner. I think it's actually really cool that they mentioned Noah Kittner already. Even though he's barely played. And of course, a tie is the reason. But hey, that's a huge upgrade for us this year. Stafford maybe does have it in the tank. Uh, you know, any of these times, if we wouldn't have tied the Eagles or would have beat the Vikings even once. I mean, look at those. Like, both are one possession games. 
The Vikings are a good team, though, and it, it appears that those were the only guys that really did damage to us or put work on us, so I'm okay with it. Stafford back to MVP type status. Uh, Coleman, great season. Spencer Ware, great season. Three 1,000-yard receivers. Frederick Bryan, I wish it was Middleton, but Frederick Bryan, not bad. I'll show you guys we weren't on spread either. I guess I think actually you guys can tell. So I'm pretty sure you would get like no rushing yards. Maybe I'm wrong. Lynn Watts, 13 sacks again. Mr. Consistency. I like it. Uh, Waters, a much better season. That's nice. Six picks for Slay. Slay is just so good. Uh, Bowers, not a bad season for his first year. Kick returner, nothing for Brian. Power returner, nothing for Brian. So we go all the way from like 16 offense to number three and 15 defense to number eight. Let's see the awards. Stafford was number two. So unfortunate. Number four for the coach. NFC, no. Defense, no. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Frederick Bryan, of course. Middleton, of course. A little bit higher of an overall because of his dev, but look at Bryan. He's not too far behind, and the, the legacy's way higher. Martinez Rose, obviously, award winner. Runner, number seven. Best wide receiver, number three. Not bad. O-line, number four, number six. D-line, no. DB or linebacker, no. Eli Apple barely beats Slay. But I'm excited to see this XP. I'm excited. There was something else that I thought I wanted to see. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Stafford, no. Holy Lord. Damn it. Middleton with no XP, really. Offensive line, there we go. The two youngsters with a lot. Uh, Not a whole lot for the running backs, but they're already pretty decent. But Brian... 50 AK, Galladay 33, Marvin anything? No. McClendon, no. Defense, please be something. Waters, I mean, we got a lot of XP on the way to the season, but yeah, not a whole lot of XP for the defense, but that's all right. Even with 13 sacks, no XP. But that's all right because the offense really got a ton of XP. Like, look at Brian here. Insane. Really shocking. Walker Middleton wasn't the guy. 86 overall. I know he wasn't as fast, but still. I don't want to touch anything, though, because Brian had a great season. All of the guys we have are good enough to start. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep it the way it is because it was it was the winning formula. I forgot. Oh, that's what I forgot to show you, the scheme. We ran the Dallas scheme, the Jacksonville defense, and that's all. We did run the Dallas on the 6-10 and 10 season as well, too. Just, just throwing that out there. This is the team, though. Crazy how one year can just change everything. It literally comes down to winning games, which we had a somewhat favorable schedule. But it just comes down to winning games, and anything can happen. Kind of like anything can happen. If we win this game, I think we can make the Super Bowl. The Falcons, I think, are the second-best roster. I think we might have the best roster now. Looks like they will score, and they do. Only up by three now. Can Tevin Coleman take it home against his own team? And I don't think we can. I think fourth and one there. I'm going for it. And that's why. With under a minute left, we have lost the lead. And I got to come into this game. And the game glitches out on me. Where I can't choose my play. Oh, God, I hate this game. Give me the blocks. I'm just taking a shot. But what am I doing? What do I mean, take a shot? Now I might take a shot, but I got to get the first down. If I didn't have to waste that stupid timeout. But no, of course it did. Big team. It's a good throw. Doesn't get out of bounds. You got to be kidding me. The rookie kicker from 53. They're ice. I'm not touching this field goal. Please, rookie, do it. He did it! We win by two. Not a chance I would have made that ice. Stafford with the perfect throw to Brian, of course. And that uh, that seals the game. We beat the Falcons barely. Matt Ryan, I mean, they did not deserve to win. Look at Matt Ryan's performance. Clearly did not deserve to win. Uh, Freeman was okay, though, to be fair. Defensively, Tack McKinley. We had, like, nothing. Jared Davis did have two picks. Glover Quinn had a pick. Kicker Bowers, the MVP. How many yards did our, our punter punted for a 328 yards? So we got past the Falcons. A super tough. 
So what is a super tough team, and then here we are going against an even tougher team. Maybe not, 88 overall? I looked at their team like a season ago. They had like nothing but 90 overall pluses. I don't know how. So does Encore looking good for the offense here? Does look good, up by 11. Up by 14, come on defense, hold up, good job. Start of the second half, we're up by 11. I mean, this is what you want, huge play by Tevin. But the Vikings aren't going anywhere. Start of the fourth, and they look like they're going to, you know, bring this within one. Although defense picks up some nice plays. And on fourth and 13, they missed the field goal. That's a very huge play. I mean, that might be the game because of that. Although, I think we just missed a field goal. Because we're only up by 11 again. Although, defense forces a turnover, and we're on to the championship game. The Vikings had plenty of opportunities, and they completely blew it. They did score a touchdown at the end as well. But they blew it. They blew it. You know, if he makes that field goal, they don't turn over the ball. They might have gotten a walk-off, like, overtime trip there. But, hey, that's not what happened. So, championship game for us. Stafford threw a pick, but Keenum only threw one touchdown. Tevin Coleman, huge 86-yard. Uh, wait, was it an 86-yarder? It was a 71-yarder. Leaves him off with 7.9 per carry, which is very impressive. Ajon Robinson with four sacks. Watts with two and a half. Impressive stuff. Hausch can miss two field goals. Damn. You know, if he makes one of those early, it changes the entire game. They lost by 11, you know? He makes one of them, that's eight. Instead of going for another field goal, they would have probably went for the touchdown instead. They could have won instead of going overtime for all we know. Like, we're dominating in the postseason. Going against the Seahawks, who have ruined a lot of dreams, especially as a Packer fan. But hopefully we as the Lions can ruin theirs and make it to the Super Bowl. Come on, Detroit. I don't know which way we are, so we're left to right. Offense seems to be making a few mistakes early on here. Defense is doing an okay job considering the offense is giving them all the chances in the world. And to start the second half, we're only down by six. With the way our offense is played, this is amazing. And, I mean, like, like I'm saying, this offense is literally handing the game away. Perfect timing. And they score a touchdown. We have about eight minutes to make the comeback. Will it happen? Who knows? Taking so damn long. I just want a field goal at this point. Fourth and eight, 20-yard touchdown or something. Down by eight. And then here comes the defense choking the game away. Somehow the Seahawks are so good. Under two or about two minutes left. Getting down the field so damn slowly. Just get in there. 55 seconds left. I'm going to play this out myself. I think with 55 seconds left, it's probably crazy not to go for the onside, but we're going to do it. We're going to pin them in a good spot here for where we can get a hit on them. Although I'm not seeing any amazing hitters here. Pinned him down to the 21. He did waste five seconds. Three timeouts. I mean, we can give ourselves a chance to force OT. We just need to stop the run. At this point, I think you have to just commit to... I'm going to run commit, speaking of committing. Got to run commit here. And, of course, they pass it. Why would they pass it? You've got to be kidding me. The Seahawks duped us. No team is passing there. I don't even want to watch. I have to watch it. Uh, well, that's the rebuild because we were literally like three points away from the Super Bowl. And that guy's on drugs. I think that's Rose. Stafford threw three picks. Good job, Stafford. Threw three picks. How bad are you? Threw a pick to Bobby, Chan, Cam, and Sherman. You were He was just aiming for their playmakers that game. He literally was aiming for their playmakers. And why is Mason Crosby always a Seahawk? Seahawks do win over the Steelers. They, they're the dynasty again. Well, not again, but they're a dynasty. So, dynasty again in Madden. That is what it is, though. I mean, we built a pretty damn good team. Here is the team. As of right now, of course, Middleton would be... I mean, three... Obviously, the... The boost from confidence, but three super BC wide receivers, tall as hell. Uh, three, technically four great offensive linemen. Rick Wagner would need to be replaced soon. Ebron, a great player. 
three, the best linebacker core I've ever assembled, I think. Uh, although Jared Davis's zone coverage and man coverage is a little low. Safeties definitely were lacking. But it wasn't the defense's fault. I don't know what to tell you. Could have went a little bit better on the defensive line, I suppose. But the defense did what they needed to. The offense just threw the game away, as usual. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, a thousand likes. And we will do the uh, Fantasy Rams updated offseason roster rebuild. That's a mouthful. Uh, you know, as soon as we hit it. So either way, thanks for watching as per usual. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.